This is News Trail, your daily dose. Thanks for connecting this Thursday, 18th August 2022. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Kayode. The National Union of Electricity Employees, NUEE, has suspended its strike after a meeting with the Minister of Labor and Employment after a four-hour-long reconciliation meeting with the federal government. The workers agreed to suspend the industrial action which had thrown the country into a total blackout. The workers expressed optimism that the government will listen to their demands and prioritize their welfare. Speaking with journalists after the meeting, the president of the Senior Staff Association of Electricity and Allied Companies Chica Ben assured the nation that the matter would be nipped in the bud before it escalates, adding that there would be no further blackouts in any part of the country. Power was, however, restored in a couple of areas hours after midnight. The presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Ashua Jubola Hamed Tinubu, has met former President Olusegun Obasanjo behind closed doors ahead of the 2023 general elections. Tinubu arrived at the presidential library penthouse home of the former president amidst fanfare by hundreds of his supporters and members of the APC. Tinubu immediately went into a closed-door meeting with Obasanjo, which lasted almost two hours. Details of the meeting were, however, not disclosed. Ashua thereafter made a quick stop at the MQ Abiola Stadium, venue of the Artisans Day, where he commended Ogun State Governor Prince Dakwa Abiodun for the infrastructural development springing up in the state, thanking the people for their support. Party stalwarts, including Speaker of the House of Representatives, Party stalwarts, including Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila, Chief B.C. Akonde, Chief Olushe Shoba, Otumba Benga Daniel, and Malam Nuhu Ribado, accompanied the APC presidential candidates. The construction of the Blue Rail Line in Lagos State is gradually taking shape as Governor Babajide Sonwolu witnessed the launch of the last T-beam for the Blue Line, which he hinted may get an extension in Togun State as discussions with the government is in top gears. The Phase 1 from Mal 2 to Marina, which passes Alaba, Igomu, National Art Theatre and Marina train stations are almost completed. The Marina Station, which is the iconic station for the Blue Line, will be completed within the next two months. Governor Sonwolu is optimistic of meeting the December 31 deadline for the completion and passenger operations is expected to begin by the first quarter of 2023. The ultimate goal of having an integrated mass transit system is to ensure Lagosians and visitors alike have alternate means of transportation and of course to make the center of excellence a 21st century economy. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. And always remember to find people who would make you better. Have a fantastic day.